What's going on guys? It's Phil Games here and today we have new Team of the Week cards in packs. So let's go and check them out. Alright, so as you guys can see right here, we have a couple of new Team of the Week cards in sets. We've got this new 94, I think overall, freaking Earl Thomas. That is lit right there. And then we got a 94 overall Sammy Watkins. If you complete the set, let's go ahead and check out the set. Looks like there is an Everson Griffin. He's the most expensive elite card in the set besides the collectible. He is going for around 40k. And uh, he has 78 blocks yet, but he's got 97 pounds with 85 speed, which is not bad, ladies and gentlemen. This is a uh, pretty decent card if you can handle a little poor block shit. Then we got this Ronnie Hillman. Had a huge day against the Chargers. Uh, over 100 yards and a touchdown. He's going for about 35k right now. He's got 93 speed and 96 juke. Uh, 94 acceleration as well. He's more of a Darren Sproles type guy with 74 truck and he's a little speed back. And I wonder if he actually has good receiving stats because he is a kind of back like that. Yeah, he has 82 catching, uh, 87 carrying. That's freaking great. 90 jumping, uh, 92 ball carry vision, 94 spin move. I'm checking those catching stats real quick. Yeah, catching traffic is not that great, but uh, yeah, still a pretty decent card right there. And then we got this Jarrell Freeman right here. Next card up, he's a middle linebacker on the coast going for around 30K. He's got 94 pursuit, 87 zone, 80 block shed, 86 play right, 92 tackling, and 86 speed. And uh, he's a pretty decent guard. He had an interception return for a touchdown, two sacks, two tackles for loss. And a pretty solid card right there, nice middle linebacker. And then we got this Brian Tannehill beat my Patriots. I really feel like they're purposely trying to lose. Really do, because Brady passed the ball like nine times, I think, and that was it. He's got trash stats. 84 speed, which is manageable. 93 throw power, which is okay. 93 throw short, 92 throw mid, which is decent. But he's got 78 throw deep, 76 play action, and 91 on the run. Good luck hitting a pass more than 16 yards with this guy. And then, guys, we have this team of the week collectible right here going for around 143k. That is a pretty expensive card, if I do say so myself. Uh, I could probably do this collection, bang it out if I wanted to. But uh, we also have a couple gold cards. And I can show off all the individual stats. Check them out on mutthead.com if you want to see. Uh, great Madden database, probably the best one out there. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and check out this Sammy Watkins with Earl Thomas. We're gonna go ahead right here. Okay, guys, Earl Thomas is in the building for 275k, 94 overall, limited edition, 92 speed, 96 zone coverage, which is nasty. Only 82 hit power. What's up with that EA? Oh, someone just bought him actually. Go ahead and check out this one. He's got 90 pursuit. Let's go ahead and see how he stacks up though to Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor is a much bigger hitter. He's just better in coverage basically. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and check out this Sammy Watkins. And then we're gonna go ahead and see if we can pack this guy. So over here, we're gonna go to Bills. And then we're gonna go to Receiver. And we're gonna see how much this Sammy Watkins is going for. I would predict like 220K I think he'll go for. Oh wow, so he's actually going for a lot more than that, 300K. He is 6'1", but he's got 93 speed, 97 spec catch, 95 looseness. 95 release, 95 catch, 94 catch in traffic, 91 jump, and 89 route running. Stacks up pretty nicely to uh, Michael Irvin. Not that much lower than him in all the categories, really. Calvin Johnson, he's kind of even with. And Amari Cooper, he's kind of even with. And Jarvis Landry, he blows out of the water. So now we're going to go ahead and open maybe five or six packs and try to see if we can't pull this Earl Thomas. He's in packs till tomorrow morning. So we're going to go ahead and rip open a couple of pro packs. Right, here we go. And we are going to start off with a Paris Harrelson and a collectible. A quick sell for 100 coins. We're going to go ahead and quick sell that. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to try to drain our coins down to around 140. That range. Oop, do not. Uh, we got to go ahead. And you know what? I'm going to quick sell a bunch of things and I will be right back. Okay, guys. Next pack up. Let's see if. We can get an elite in this bad boy. Hit it from the back one time, from the front, from the back. And we get a Latavius Murray. Not what we want to see. We also got a Matthew Slater out here. And nothing too much in that pack. So we're going to go ahead and quick sell everyone so we can get a couple more packs. I think we'll hit two or three more maybe. Let's see. Next pro pack up. Come on, baby. You know you want to show us that Earl. Thomas limited edition time. No way to get a dollar pen. Anything else hiding in this pack? 
Oh, we got a Vic Beasley Jr. and he does not go into the set, so he's not worth too much. We're gonna go ahead and quick sell them all right here, right now, so we can get hurry up, get a couple more packs in here. By couple, I mean probably two or three more. And we are gonna see if we can't get this limited edition, baby. Come on, Earl Thomas, I know you're hiding in there. Who are we gonna get? Brandon Williams, one more? No. Are right, we gonna finish off with one last pack? Let's see if we can go ahead, snag ourselves up this Earl Thomas right here. One last pack to do it. Let's be great. And what happened? We, oh, we went to the store. One chance to be great, baby, right here. We're gonna go ahead. And we're gonna hit from the back. And the back. And the back. And we get Jawan James. That might be a valuable pull. I'm not sure. We also got Deion Sims. Might also be a valuable pull. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look at that Jawan James real quick. Because I'm pretty sure that he is worth at least 10k. Let me go ahead and check this out. I know when I was doing the elite or the captain sets a while ago, he was going for a lot more. They all kind of went down. I probably should have waited to do those. I just wanted to get it done so close. And guys, I'm almost Mutt Master couple more collectibles and I'm there so we're gonna go ahead and actually check out that guy he's a 73 overall those are the ones that like to go for a lot and we really need to clean out this binder guys but it's just if I put these in sets I won't have room for the badges you know what I'm saying now I'm gonna predicament here and we get him and he's going for 6k not bad so if you guys like the video make sure you like, subscribe for more and I will see you guys next time